Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the time elements generator from Final Boss Blues assets. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is go to finalbossblues.itch.io. This is the creator of the time fantasy assets, and he's making a new time element style, which starts off with a generator, a character generator, kind of like the newer RPG makers, how they have the generators based off like hats and clothes, faces and stuff like this. He now has a character generator with his style, and then you can add stuff if you need to, just parts. Now, before we get into how to use this, because this is what the video is about, I do want to point out that he does have a Patreon, and if you click on his collections here, you can just see how just how many Patreon releases he does. So you can see 71 posts on for Dungeon Extra Tiles, 111 on enemies, monsters, and things like this. So he's a very active Patreon, releases at least weekly. And so definitely worth the $5 at minimum to get these releases. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. The other plug I wanted to make is for RPG Architect, because the creator of this, uh, the leader of, or the owner of Monsters and Robots, his name's Locke, he is the one that actually created the generator for this new Elements Core. So I just wanted to give a shout out to his engine that he made, RPG Architect, since he made the generator. So let's get into this. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the core character set. You're going to get it. You're going to download it. And then if you're interested, he just released a character expansion as well. So then you would download this. And I'm going to show you how to use both of these. All right. So after you download and unzip this pack, we're just going to jump into the core pack here. There's an assets folder. These come with all the default parts that come with for the generator. There's an extras where he throws in some emotes, the palettes that you use, and an RM fix plugin. I'll go over this in a minute. Then there is a guide. It's a, about a 30 page guide on how to use the assets and his generator. It's really handy. And then the last thing he did was include a pre made. So you can just go in here and if you find a pre made that you like, you can just throw it right into your RM project. And then, so now let's go to the generator. So you click on this, get in the generator here, click your OS. And then this is what it comes with at first. You can always just right click, send to desktop as a shortcut. But if we click into this, it's going to open up the generator. And if we minimize it, you're going to see that it created a whole bunch of folders as well as a settings.json. All right. And so these folders right now are all blank. And you can see that because the part tabs are right here. So here's the hair, here's the head, here's the top, and so on and so on. But there's actually no parts. And you can see that the asset folder is coming from the folder that it created. So it doesn't know where the folder was with the pre -mades. It just goes based off of the one that it was created. So there's a couple different ways we could do this. We could actually select a new folder and we can actually select it from the pack right here. Now, that way seemed to be a little less faster than this way I'm gonna show you here. So you're gonna go back to the core here. You're gonna get all of these. You're going to copy them. Then you're gonna go back into your generators right here. And you're just going to paste them. So they're gonna overwrite everything in there, but now they're not gonna be empty. Now, unfortunately, this thing doesn't refresh. Maybe it will if you close it and reopen. Let's try that. Okay, so yeah, that's all you had to do was just close it and reopen. So that to me, that's the fastest way instead of going through each tab and reassigning the directory. All right, so now that we have all the parts, we can just start to create a character. So I'm just gonna throw in some cat ears here, go to hair, throw in some hair, create a, a female here. And then you can see that there is some adjustments right here. You go to the clothes here, I can throw on some clothes and I can say I want, you know, a green dress thingy. And then you can go like this. If you want the original color, it's right here. Just so you know, if you didn't, because if you click on this again, it, it, it will stick with the color. So you want to make sure that if you want the default, you go there. Also, if you want to remove it, say that you had ears you didn't want, you have to make sure that you click on the none. So yeah, that should work there. And then let's give it just a quick bottom dress right here. You can see that there's wings. They all work as well. And then there's some back hair. So here's the hair right here. And if you click on back hair, now you have the back hair, which is really cool. Then hat, I'll just throw on a hat just to show you. Again, you can color them however you want. And then there's also weapons as well. So she can be carrying a spear. She could have a, a shield on, a pickaxe. So these ones look like they're empty maybe. And then a sword. And so yeah, you, I could create a character just like this. You could show the different parts, say that you didn't want to see them. And then also you have the animation that they're in because it's going to print out or it's going to export all these different animations. So here's the walking. Here's the arms up. 
here's the crouching the jump and this also down here this is the preview of the sprite sheet it's going to give all right so there's a couple more things you could do you could change the skin tone you can see that you can get a little darker skin tone you can also get this green red or a bone look kind of funny here you could also randomize if you want so you just hit randomize and boom just randomize i lost everything i should have uh, saved if i wanted that one but there is this option while we're here is you can save it so you could just boom right there and save it and matter of fact you can just go i probably wouldn't want to save it there just choose your folder let's do it in the core element pack here and maybe do a folder called saves and save this as random one then i can randomize it again and then let's say i wanted to load that one boom and then i got it and so that's how you do that now you can export the full sheet here i'm pretty sure it exports it like this the full sheet so if you export it just export them right here let's say full sheet and boom yep it's going to export exactly how it is it's a one-to-one -one ratio or what he calls 100 percent scaling so this is going to be like the 16 by 16 tile set size that low resolution game that you're going for he has some other export options for rpg maker so let's actually do a care sheet for mvmz which is more what i know so mv care and then mv side view battler and let's look how those exported and so yeah here's the character walking it's scaled correctly i think mv was 300 percent scaling and then here's the side view battler perfect all right and yeah that's basically it as far as the generator goes so now let's go to the expansion pack and let's add in those so real quickly we're going to go to the downloads here here is the expansion pack you can see that it comes with the core as well let's see if any of the extras are so these are just the originals so yeah it just comes with the stuff that it comes with the pre-mades these might be of the extras so yeah the, the pre-mades are a little different here but the assets are going to be different so we can just copy these and go back to our original generator which you could move this out if you want so you could have this in its own folder you probably just move this out and then this would be just your core generator folder then i'm going to just upload all of those and then since you can't refresh them we'll just close this out reopen the generator and now you can see that we just have a lot more hair a lot more faces to choose from a lot more clothes styles and so basically yeah, i just added all these extras it was the expansion and then everything else is just the same and you can go from there so really the last thing to go over is in the extras there's an rm plugin fix here's the plugin file you're just going to throw it in your rpg maker project and add it like normal i'm not very familiar with it but then in the readme here it just says basically you need to add a closing parenthesis at the start of your image file similar to how you use the money side or, or the explanation point um, to get certain effects and this was actually a community contributor so that's really cool and so yeah that was included in the project and boom you've got your generator with your new time elements and some of them can mesh with time fantasy stuff if you want but there's a whole universe out there and so yeah get to creating your game that i'll see you at the next video